Wow, 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 this is the year of harvest and also the time of love, time of joy, time of intimacy. With the Lord, it's a preeminent place. You know, when you come to this show, this is the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is always natural. That's where the heavens and the earth, there is an encounter. You know, Jesus has come to die for us so that he can save us and heal us and deliver us and set us on the way because we are his disciples. We do what he has shown us to do and he has called us to do. That's what we are living for in the name of Jesus. When we love him, we love him with all of our hearts. Yes, you are going to be blessed, I'm telling you, this program. You know, we've been giving you the songs and uh, the songs with my wife. He's not, she's not here today. I am here and she's gonna be on there, 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 but we're gonna be together and also it's a great pleasure to be with you. And I know you are going to be blessed. Yeah. Kurunkulu Zokbusisa, Zobuse, Ntandu Bonga, everybody that has supported this ministry, even from previous time, previous years. Last year, you have supported this ministry with your finances, with your prayers, with your love, writing to us and telling us how much you are blessed by this program, even prayers that have changed your life. I'm telling you, your life will never be the same again. I know my God is alive. I call him Jehovah Belperezim. Unkulunkulu Ofoshlaya. Oya Foshla. Some have called me by that name and nicknamed me and by Umma Foshla. But again, Apostle Ma Foshla, Dr. Ma Foshla. Yes, he a Foshla and Bella Azal. I can't even remember in the night. I can't even miss her. But our great Jehovah, you are going to be blessed. I'm telling you, things are changing. We are taking over everywhere, as the, sing, as the song says from my wife. I'm telling you, your life is going to change. There's going to be a paradigm shift, and your life is going to be blessed. Be blessed by this song from the Queen of the Palace. We are taking over, and also, let's go to the someone. You are going to be blessed. Be blessed.
Gufana na comedians. It's like comedians. Yeah, na comedian. You see the comedians? I actually is. They can make you to laugh. Our chablis. They don't make you to be happy. Bangi sabazala. Anga klegi suzu patwe isi. He can make you to laugh until you are sick to the Kora stomach. But they cannot make you happy. There are things that God has created that will bring you joy. To be to love. It deals with a particular thing in your life. Kana chemical ogwa stimulate times imbeno akuguze ube calm ogwa zuguli zifeiti especially as a stress and depression. There are those chemical that it stimulates so that you'll be able to be calm and resist some diseases. But to be joyful. We go deeper. I'm going to explain to you as we are going deeper in what I am teaching. Uh, uh, in this day, we are going to pray from it's whereby I will give you an explanation. I feel sorry for those who will be absent. Or else, try to be present or just by because I'm going to explain everything. A, a demon will just come out while I'm st speaking. Do you hear me? Amen. Do you hear me? So, your mind, it is filled with the old person. It is filled with the old person who is filled with shame because your mom used to kick and your mom and insult him and the boyfriend of your mom you, his head disappointed. Your mom was raped, then you were found. So, see the marriage of your uncle that didn't work out. Everything is idle. So, now uh, they almost raped you. And uh, you got married and divorced. So you don't trust anything. You were born from the poor family. For you to hinder that poverty, you want to get married with somebody who is married. Have you ever had that? A, a person don't want to make herself to be rich, you want somebody who is rich. That is yeah, a shortcut. Have you ever seen <laughs> such a person? I always <laughs> see those <laughs> people. I always <laughs> see <laughs> people. They don't want to enrich <laughs> themselves. They want a person who is already Short, shortcut. That is a shortcut. Why can't you empower yourself? So that this person who is rich will come to you where so the money is. So that he wants to make you a furniture. Now we finish a truth, now we finish. If you are a furniture, that means he is a furniture as well. In other words, you've got a value. Most of people, they won't last in the relationships because relationships that they have been through, they are damaged. If you have a problem with friends, you can't stay with a friend for a long time. You quarrel with them and fight. You must know even if when you get married, it's going to be so. Because the relationship got levels. That you are being tested Boba. until you qualify to reach to be a woman and a wife. If you are failing in that relationship whereby you are playing toys, making friends, and failing to make friends, how are you going to make friendship with the one who is going to share your body with? 
share na impilo yakho gonna share your life share na i career yakho share your career with ngoba gonga uthembeke into enencane because you become faithful in small things yabo zweko inkulu you can go to the big things just to lapha ngaba ngani you are being tested with your friends yabona umuntu yabona ukuthi eh wrong and you can see that it's wrong. Man, wrong. Uh, it was wrong job and cool way yes, i'm growing wrong way it's wrong kona banye phela nomu ngekuzusha khona abanye umisana ubona ukuthi yabona ngiyaza last emshadweni there are those that you can see that they want last in the marriage marriage is not for them ngoma ubuka impilo yakhe imani napha napha because when you look at his or her life he doesn't not no want to change even if he can enter he will come back or else my ngen when he enters when he shade no muntu all right he must get married to the person who does not pay him who will love him as he is kodama ashade no muntu nje ngaye but if he marries to the person who is not paying him abantu abasho abama 80s and 90s those of my ashade no muntu abanga ngaye if they got married to the people who are secure it must be people who are secure who are intelligent who are balanced in life otherwise zothuthana ngiye baliqede ngisho 3 months or they gonna fight they won't even last for three months they will just leave here and so why you kulu kulu let's renew in on those why god is saying we must renew our minds it because in goba is it those issues work more the things have been taken from the spirit the father was that decoding on them and being decoded into the mind the shell it says who catch is they are staying they are water liquid they are liquid joba zo catch is as they are liquid mangabe ikhishwa if they are being taken or issued faneke ufe you need to die ngoba zingenela because they have entered here sukela uzalo from the day you were born guys cut back gaba back gaba bakini bekneza kwaba phansi kwakho lokungena kancane kancane when they were cutting you and offering you to the ancestors it kept on entering bit by bit guys cut to the into zaba phansi when you were eating the things of the ancestors they lokungena they were entering guys cut to olumi belele ka mawa by the time you are fighting the they lokungena they were guys cut to kamba mang by the time you were lying they lokungena they were enter guys cut to olwa by the time you were fighting they lokungena they were entering guys cut by the time you have graduated they were entering it take a very long time they will enze ukuthi ungaphunyuke nangephu so that you won't uh, come out even by mistake so that you won't even by mistake so that you won't even by mistake so that you won't even by mistake and in this one let me make an example yabona umuntu uma ngabedlwe ngulewo do you see if the person is being raped kungena ke yena umoya so ngale sikhathi umdeliver by the time you are delivering her ukhipha umoya you are taking out we rape the spirit of rape ngoba uma ngabe engakhishwa ngumoya we rape because if this spirit of rape is not passed out she can be she she can because the spirit is in her once a person sees her he will just last in the bakhale lokulala na why you want to sleep in over in the gien because what is in yeah, here it, so, it calls them come come and sleep with me do you want me can you tell it please it is akala i can tell and i demonstrate now but who show wona lo mo ngisho ngahlala noma lo mo akho kuthanda even if you can stay with your uncle and step father sake sikuthanda stay with your step father that sizo ithola sesifuna ukulala nawo he will find himself with you it's the spirit of the even if you can ngisho ngahlala nomlungu ngisho ngahlala nekhalada even if you can stay with ngahlala nothanya even if you can stay with the lunatic person When zio moya ogwena is being caused by the spirit that is dwelling in you. Uthi amdeliver when you deliver her. Umdeliver kumoya you will deliver her from the spirit of rape. Lo buso menze uthi asaba ukuhlala nabantu. That makes her to. Makaba selifthinda umuntu wesilisa uzom uzokoma. 
she's in the lift with a, a man. A man she was because she was raped and she's so we deliver, more we deliver her from the spirit yes, of rape. Do you know what happens? The spirit of rape will come out. Also come then more the spirit of lust will come. Also will just so lust. Then she will just want this thing on her own. How when a forty from the extreme to the extreme? From here today. Why? In the She's being captured in such a way that she must always be captive. I'll try to make diagram so that you see how it works. Because I know once your mind sees the photo, it won't forget. Most of people who've been raped, most of them are the prostitutes. They become the experts in sex. Why? To cover the spirit of being raped, you cover it by the lust. If you ask most of the prostitutes, they will tell you that they've been raped. They are trying to cover the thing, cover it with the last. So these are the things that you're going to explain because once you operate your mind, if you are let the word of God, this is what it does. By the time you read the word of God, this is what is happening. Ponder by my word day and night. By the time you are thinking about it, it answers. But you don't see the difference. You continue reading the word of God. It answers. By the time it answers, a, a person will see you the same. But you can feel that the burden is being lifted up. The anger that I used to have, I am able to control. I used to steal, but I do not steal. I just still beat. The lies and the gossiping I used to do, I don't, drink much. I, I don't drink a lot. I used to drink in the morning and at night, but I only do it at night. Then I will continue reading the way. Then people will see the difference, but I can feel it. I am able to pray. I used to pray two minutes, but now it's five minutes. I read the Bible as the novel but now I am able to read it as a prayer. Why? 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 It seems as if the situation is still there. Once you have changed from the situation, I'm telling you, change from the situation. Don't change the situation. Just take out the situation from you. Change you within the situation. Don't try to change the situation. Change yourself from the situation. Once you have changed from the situation, the situation will kick you because you have become the problem. You are the one who is the situation in the situation. 
Yes, I'll take a shot. Do you hear what I'm saying? In other words, who? Oh, Sergio. So now I'm like this. I still see a bit of yellow. Let me continue to study the word. I will study the word. Study it in the word. Study drinking the word. Continue speaking the word. Continue witnessing the word. Is there any difference? You. This is the spirit of your mind. It has been changed. What was uh, used to be a problem, it won't be a problem. Even if it can be brought by anybody. Because you are right. The issues have been taken out from inside. He can be placed before you. You will just Look at the lunatic person who's a devil. Do you hear what I'm saying? Even if the man is before you, you won't speak. Because stillness is not in you. Wow, I hope you were blessed by that song from my wife, Dr. Tabisila Msome. You know, we are doing it as the Msomis. God is good and all the time he is really good. We love each other. We don't fake it, but God has given us grace. That's what we need to do, to love one another and to pray for one another and support each other so that we can make it by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you were blessed by that sermon too. Oh, God is grace. I was blessed too. It has transformed my life and changed me. In everything that I do, you know, Jesus Christ is God. And I would like to pray for those who would like to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Can you say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me all of my sins. Cancel all my debts. Free me from bondages. Break all my curses. And I'm entering the covenant to be with you under your blood by, and led by your spirit. In Jesus' name. By saying that prayer, I'm telling you, life will never be the same again. And Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, is going to change you forever. Let me pray for those who are sick right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak life. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. The power of Christ is touching you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm healing you. I'm delivering you in the name of Jesus. Right now, as I pray, I see a young woman of 27 years of age. She has a child. The child is two years old. You are failing to support the child because your boyfriend left you and you want to kill yourself and kill your child. But the Lord is telling me to tell you, provision Leo tesiji noto funu gienza, mkelu kutu ngayenzi. Begi santa sake sfubeni, funu kulege. Nyinga konja nkulu mangezu, ngobo konu zongizu agali. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release life. I release, I break the spirit of suicide in the name of Jesus. I break the spirit of darkness and confusion in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, I speak life. I heal you and I deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of that darkness. Come out of that spell in Jesus' name. I speak life over you right now. I say you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. And also I see a woman who have lost a child. When I say you have lost your child, your child has gone missing. You don't know where your child is. You don't know if he's alive or dead. But I want to tell you something. Your child is alive. He's somewhere the Lord is not showing me where your, your, your child is right now. But I want to give you the assurance, keep on hoping. Within three weeks, two, three months, just believe God. From now on, God is going to give you a peace that surpasses all understanding and your life will never be the same again. Let me pray for you. Father, I break that hopelessness in Jesus mighty name. I restore hope, I restore love, I restore life in the name of Jesus. I command the child to come back home in the name of Jesus. I remove that darkness that is covering the child in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I break that spell in the name of Jesus. I say, child, come back home in the name of Jesus. I speak life. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. I speak restoration right now in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord was just revealing that to me. And I know your life will never be the same again. Just believe God. Your life will be restored. Your family will rejoice again in Jesus' name. Keep on writing to us and telling us what God is doing for you and changing your life. It, is be, it will be our great encouragement to hear what the Lord is doing in your life. May the good Lord bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you forever in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Be blessed by this song. I say shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Download the song on YouTube. Uh, I mean, on, on uh, <laughs> I'm just counting the, Insta, uh, the, the social network. Download the song on Google Play and also iTunes and also Amazon. Then you are going to be blessed. Shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. It's your year of harvest. In Jesus' name. Amen.